GH spoilers reveal that Scott is doing everything he can to advocate for Heather's rights, despite the controversy and concerns from the community. With his past romantic relationship and loyalty, Scott is determined to prove that Heather deserves justice after the medical complications she has endured. He is not only fighting to overturn Heather's sentence, but is also pushing for a lawsuit against the company that manufactured her faulty hip, hoping to secure a substantial settlement for her. Although Scott faces fierce opposition from the residents of Port Charles, who still view Heather as a potential danger, he believes she deserves a chance to rebuild her life. Scott is utilizing all his resources and legal connections to push for Heather's freedom and rights, regardless of the consequences this may cause in the community. Scott has decided to embark on a challenging legal battle alongside Heather, suing the company responsible for her faulty hip replacement, which leaked cobalt into Heather's body and caused serious metal poisoning. Scott believes that this medical failure is the primary reason Heather lost control of her behavior, leading to her violent actions in the past. He wants to demonstrate that, that in addition to suffering from health issues, Heather is a victim of a grave medical error and deserves compensation. Scott is not only seeking financial justice for Heather, but also hopes to give her a chance to atone for her mistakes, to be seen not merely as a killer, but as someone pushed into a difficult situation due to a medical failure. He is working tirelessly, gathering medical records, documents about the hip replacement complications, and building a strong case against the manufacturer. This battle is far from easy. Scott knows that support for Heather in the community is minimal. She caused great fear in Port Charles, and many people do not believe that cobalt poisoning is fully to blame for her criminal behavior. However, Scott is determined to see this case through to the end. He believes that by holding the manufacturer accountable, Heather can receive significant compensation, helping her rebuild her life and remove some of the stigma that has haunted her. Scott also understands that winning this lawsuit could completely change Heather's life, offering her a second chance to start over. However, this fight is not just about money or reputation. It is also Scott's effort to protect the woman he once loved, despite her past mistakes. Scott's dedication and loyalty to Heather will be key in helping her face the future and overcome her haunting past. Scott is making a strong effort to persuade Trina and Portia to agree to a deal that could lead to Heather's release. Understanding their anger and concerns about Heather's possible return to the community, Scott is trying to alleviate their worries by focusing on the medical aspect. He argues that cobalt poisoning altered Heather's behavior and that proper treatment could make her a completely different person. Scott also proposes strict supervision of Heather after her release to ensure that she no longer poses a threat to Portia, Trina, or anyone else in the Port Charles community. He emphasizes that if Heather is released, she will be monitored and treated not just set free without responsibility. However, this campaign has caused significant tension as Portia and Trina remain deeply skeptical about whether Heather can truly change. They have not forgotten that she was once the hook and caused immense suffering. Scott understands this, but hopes that their empathy will lead to a feasible deal, giving Heather a chance to rebuild her life under close supervision. If Scott succeeds, Heather may be released but this also presents a major challenge to the community, as everyone will have to confront the fear that she could relapse. This decision is not just about the law, but also about believing in the possibility of human change after repentance and treatment. Heather has been released and received a large sum of money after winning her lawsuit regarding the faulty hip replacement, which opens up a new ambitious opportunity for her, regaining custody of her grandson, Ace. With a significant financial backing from the lawsuit, Heather now has both the financial and legal leverage to pursue re-establishing her relationship with Ace. Heather now wants to prove that she is no longer a danger, especially after her health issues have been treated. She is trying to convince the court and those around her that she has changed, using her newfound wealth to strengthen her image and prepare for the battle to regain custody of Ace. However, this task is far from simple. Ace's family, including Nicholas Cassadine and Laura Collins, will not easily accept Heather re-entering the child's life 
after the crimes she committed. They worry that Heather still poses a potential threat, despite her improved health and financial status. The fight for custody of Ace is not just a legal battle, but also a matter of trust and forgiveness. Heather will face deep skepticism from the Cassidine family and the Port Charles community, as they all vividly remember her chaotic past. While Heather now has freedom and a large sum of money, whether she can convince those around her that she truly deserves this second chance remains a significant question.